And we're back with part two of box four of my 45 RPM vinyl records. And we're starting off with Summer in the City by the Lovin' Spoonful. And it's definitely been summer around these parts lately. Woo, it's been hot. <laughs> and beside of that is Butchie's Tune, which I do not recognize. Now we're starting back up. I warned you there would be a lot of uh, duplicates in this box, and there are. Here's Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini, which we had in, uh, I think, box two of my collection. But this is a clearly different label. I, I do remember that that label was different on that copy. But I do remember that the B-side was Dill Dill still don't dilly dally sally which is hard to say say that five times fast <laughs> and it's the same b-side as the a-side but a different label so a different printing um moving on we've got billy joel doing my life which is a really good billy joel song one of his better ones that i like 52nd street was probably his uh, best album and the b-side of that is look at that 52nd street <laughs> <laughs> so, then we've got uh, Jay Ferguson doing Thunder Island, out on Thunder Island, and uh, Shakedown Cruise was uh, another one of his that uh, I remember well, but Thunder Island was uh, definitely the first one of his that I got, beside of this being Magic Moment. And now we've got a reissue of Thunder Island. You see that label? The spun gold version. Thunder Island again. But on the B side of it, they were nice enough to give us Shakedown Cruise, which I was just talking about. So we had um, Magic Moment as the B side originally, and Shakedown Cruise as the B side on the spun gold reissue version of that. Then this is definitely a duplicate. I think this is the third time around for this one. Hi, hi, hi by Wings, Paul and Linda McCartney. And the B-side is still, again, Sea Moon. No different from previous copies, except for this one's pretty ugly looking. But, uh, yeah, it's a great song. And apparently it's pretty darn popular around these parts, because I just keep picking, picking up copies of it. And it's not that I... I wouldn't pull that one out of a box now and buy it because I know I've got a mint looking copy of it. But when you buy a box of random 45s, that's where it tends to pop up a lot. And Gary Rafferty doing Baker Street. I know I've got some other copies of this one, but I don't think we've uh, ran across it yet in this series of videos. So really good song to have, Baker Street. And beside of that being Change in Weather. In fact, I think I got a picture sleeve of Baker Street, and I'm going to be filming some picture sleeve videos here very soon. Probably get them up in the next week or two. And there will be a Gary Rafferty Baker Street uh, picture sleeve in those videos. Here we've got the Eagles doing the long run. Who is going to make it? We'll find out. Not the Disco Strangler. Yeah. Which is a pretty good song. It was different, unique song. Um, but I liked it. I liked uh, all the Eagle stuff, to tell you the truth. Don't like country and western, but that's mainly because of the twanginess of it. Uh, I don't really have a problem with pop or, or, or folk music or even country tinted stuff. And the Eagles, I like the Eagles. So here we got Paul Simon doing Slip Slide and Away. Which uh, I don't think we've ran across yet. And the B side of that is another great Paul Simon song, Something So Right. But since it's uh, 45 is taken from the greatest hits, this is clearly a reissue of this, these two songs from the greatest hits. Who knows if they remixed them or if they would change from the original albums or not. But that's uh, probably a good reason why we got two hits there, because it's promoting the greatest hits. Now we got Peter Frampton, all right. Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. He had some really good stuff. Frampton Comes Alive. Uh, who, who grew up in the 70s and didn't listen to Frampton Comes Alive? I mean, come on. He he didn't keep the career going hot like he started, but uh, yeah, he was a humble pie, you know, he, before he went solo. So he, he had a good career uh, early on. B-side being Rocky's Hot Club. 
And old Peter's still around, I know that, just like Steve Miller and a couple others, but hasn't done anything that I've been uh, noticed uh, of, of late. Nick Gilder, hot child in the city. Running wild and looking pretty. B-side, Backstreet Noise. Hmm, wonder if that's where the Backstreet Boys got their name. <laughs> Doubt it. Seriously doubt it. Now here's one. This was an early one that I bought when I was a child. I have this exact same label in my collection of my originals. So going back to 73, I ain't going to tell you how old I am, but uh, I wasn't uh, in diapers. <laughs> Smoking in the boys' room by Brownsville Station. And uh, I love the Motley Crue remake of this too. When Motley Crue did it, I thought that was so cool. Because it wasn't a song at that time that uh, you were hearing a lot anymore. It had its day and it was gone. And the B-side of that, Barefootin', which uh, was a song that uh, kind of grew on me when I first got the 45. I remember, oh, how can I have such a great song on the A-side and such a bad song on the B? But it's really not that bad a song. It, it grew on me. It's, it's, it's a good upbeat tune. So, moving on, this is an interesting sleeve. We should probably let you get a little bit of a view of that. I'll try to quit moving it so quickly so you can focus, but nice colorful sleeve. Doesn't belong with this 45, but you guys know the reason for that. I've, I've explained it numerous times that people load these up in the jukeboxes and throw the sleeves in the bottom, and when they take them out, they don't always bother to put them back in the right sleeves, and that's how these sleeves get so mismatched a lot. But the bird's doing turn, turn, turn to everything there is a season. And the B side of this is another great song, probably because this is a Hall of Fame reissue, Eight Miles High. So, and uh, I do remember uh, reading a story about he wrote that on a plane, and that's where the, you know, Eight Miles High came from. But he was on a plane when he wrote that song, apparently. Elvis Presley, rubbernecking, and again, this one's in my original collection of 45s that I owned as a child. This was the very first Elvis Presley 45 that I ever bought, it was rubbernecking from the uh, Universal Picture Change of Habit, which just happened to be Elvis Presley's last film. Uh, was that Mary Tyler Moore, I believe, was in that with him? Yeah, that was his last film, so this would have been one of the last movie soundtrack 45s to Put out at least while he was alive and beside of that don't cry daddy which is not a song i'm familiar with um <laughs> yes i had it as a child but uh i i, I could sing rubber neck to you right now i couldn't sing um don't cry daddy all right so this one pops up a lot too get ready by rare earth i've got numerous copies of this one but it is a really cool label i do like the label even though this one isn't exactly in perfect shape it's still a fun label to look at and beside of that being Magic Key which again not a song I know so moving on we've got a really cool Elton John one here on the uh, Captain Fantastic label there someone saved my life tonight so that was from the Captain Fantastic album of course and it was a great album great song what just might be on the B side, House of Cards. Not a song that I'm as familiar with, but that's often the case with B sides. That's kind of the point. And it makes them fun too when you're um, listening to them uh, randomly. You don't know it by the title, or you discover a lot of good songs that way. And here's Steve Miller Band. We were just talked about him a minute ago with the Joker. He's a smoker, he's a Joker. And the B-side is Something to Believe In, which I don't know as well. But it says it's from the same album as The Joker. And uh, I liked uh, Steve Miller. I didn't buy any of his albums as a child, but I did get a couple of his 45s, and I did like some of his songs. All right, Simon and Garfunkel, Homeward Bound. There's a good one for you. I love the Simon Garfunkel's work that they did together. They did a lot of really good stuff. That's what I would call folk music. Some of it borderline rock, a lot of pop, but definitely definitely started out folk music. Uh, Leaves It Are Green, I like that song too. Leaves It Are Green. Yeah, so that's a good uh, double 
song just there to get your hands on. And yeah, this box just really, really connected with me. <laughs> uh, here's another one I had as in my childhood. I bought this one uh, when it came out as well, Grand Funk, doing the locomotion, which obviously was a cover song from a hit from the 60s. Um, Brenda Lee, I think, did it. I, I won't swear by that, but it was done by a female vocalist in the 60s, and Grand Funk did it in the 70s, and then I know there was Debbie Gibson or somebody did it in the 80s or the 90s and made it another hit. So this is a song that a lot of people out there ought to recognize. You know, everybody's doing a brand new dance now. I remember uh, roller skating to this song. And Grand Funk's B-side is Destitute and Losing. And every one of these copies I've seen of this has the same B-side. And that does pop up a lot. I've, I've got numerous copies of that one. Same with this one. It's a great song. Alan O'Day doing Undercover Angel. Hmm, Undercover Angel. Get it right, Will. <laughs> and uh, I had this one as my childhood. I bought this one when it came out originally. And uh, my copy would, looks better than this, I'm sure. But that's in my A to Z boxes. I, I went through and I put my original ones in with my collection at the time and sorted them all A to Z and cataloged them and all. We haven't even got to those yet. That, that'll be a time, definitely... Be some good videos to to go a to z but we'll see that one when we get to those just you on the b side so looks like we're getting close to wrapping this episode up so we'll uh end it with foreigner hot blooded which uh had tramotine tramotine hmm not really sure how you pronounce that but that's what the b side is so Come on back for part three of box four. We'll see you then.